Well, it seems to me that the best place to find Savage is in the year 2156. Alright everyone, listen up. I'm taking direct command of this unit. Sir. Yes, sir. Especially after the fact that Myra isn't here at the moment. She's, uh... Well, she's back on Earth-52 doing aunt duties. Um, anyway, we're going to 2156. What's the plan? Thursday. Captain. Wow. You have AI. I do. I've missed you, my friend. I've missed you too. Where is the one place we know Savage to be? 2166. Exactly, Bobby. But that's the height of his power. So I'd say we have to go a decade before. So we're going in 2156? We have literally run out of time. So who's going where? Well, I believe Carrie should stay with Ray and General Irons. But um, the rest of us, we're going to 2156. Understood. What about me and Leo? I believe you should join us. I'm honoured. So I'm stuck at camp, and both Leo and Rory get to go to the future? Sorry, Ray. This is some bullshit. Thursday, chart a course. We're going to need to find a safe spot to land Thursday. I don't think there are any safe spaces, Captain. Are we over London yet? What's left of it? Why is London shooting at us? They're not. It's Savage's forces that are doing the shooting, Mr. Jones. Here in 2156, they've subjugated most of the globe. Didn't have to pop us out here, though. Yes, but unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of just waiting for Savage to come out of the shadows. Indeed, we have to strike him where we know he's going to be, which is... Right before he wastes your entire family. Dude. What? Yes, Mr. Jones. Savage will kill my wife and son in three days' time. Well, on my earth anyways. Here he might just do the same for fun. Captain, I've managed to slip us between their artillery fire. Set us down on the outskirts of the city Thursday. Right, team. We are going to have to need to proceed swiftly. Perhaps we could debate a little bit? Deliberation? We really don't have the time. Savage will be making a speech tonight, out in the open. Meaning, I'm going to need the services of... Ryan and Rory. That was quick. Yeah. Didn't really work out. What's next? Okay, well, Rory, Gemini, I need you two to figure out how to get into Savage's systems. Then we'll know when he's alone. On it. Captain, I've detected movement 300 meters southwest of our location. Savage's army? Nah, mate. I think they're all that remains of the resistance forces. I'm going to make contact with them. They might have some information on Savage that we can use to our advantage. Rory, Bobby, Kieran, Ryan, shall we? Thank you, gentlemen, for accompanying me on this excursion. Oh, no problem. I just love hacking the word in the middle of World War Three. What if instead of meeting these resistant fighters, we encounter more of Savage's forces? Why else do you think I brought the guy who could heal people? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you. Better yet, give him multiple, buddy. My wife and son live in Whitechapel. I was hit hard, pal. I know. And the same fate will befall you if you don't accept our help. How do we know that you're not always savage? Because if we were, you'd be dead right now. Look, feel free to shoot us, but from what it looks like... You could use all the allies you could get. 
Whitechapel fell 11 days ago. We have a lot of refugees. Do you think your son and wife are amongst them? Sadly, I'm confident that they're not. Still, we'd like to help in whatever way we can. Very well. So what did you mean back there? About your family? I'd rather not discuss it. Yeah, I picked up on that, buddy. I also picked up on the fact that we're in London. Days before a savage manages to kill your wife and son. And you're not trying to get them to safety. After my first attempt on savage in ancient Egypt, my very next stop was here in 2156. I found Miranda and Matthew exactly where I'd left them. We raced towards the chrysalis, and we had a run-in with Savage's shock troopers. Miranda and Matthew were cut down. Ryan, you're my best mate here, so I have no issues telling you that I've lived this life already. Now your world's Alex became me. Miranda and Matthew didn't exist in your world. Here on Terra Prime, same thing. So I jumped even further back. And the outcome was exactly the same. I watched my family die countless times at the hands of Savage and his forces. On three different Earths. Before I realised that. Ugh. Time wants that to happen. A funny feeling knowing that the universe, <laughs> multiverse, itself doesn't want you to save your own family. Alright, what are you playing at? There's no record of you anywhere. Long story short, the important thing is that we get as close to Shaitan Savage as possible. Nobody gets close to Savage. Delta Camp is under attack, taking heavy fire. Where's Delta Camp? Former perimeter. Once we've done that, we'll look for survivors. Savage is truly a monster. Last week, Savage's forces laid waste to Tokyo. London is the last patch of free ground on this planet. Savage's armies have cut down the most formidable armies in the world. What do you two Bampots think you can do against an evil like that? There were no survivors from the attack. No. Whatever weapon Savage used against the rebels was quite effective. What happened? Savage killed a bunch of people. That's what happened. I know you not know how to fight, but I reckon some of you should get back down to the training room. Savage himself will be wanting to fight. Rory, go get the device off the woman we saw earlier. Savage has warned you all about the radicals that oppose us. They will not show you the mercy I just did. <sighs> dismissed. <coughs> I said, dismissed. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said missed. Whoever you are, you're certainly persistent. Not really. We're just like shiny things. Like a magpie. Like that watch you're wearing. You'd risk dying for a watch. Oh, it works in my house, don't you think? What now, Mr. Caladrius? How do you know my name? And there I was thinking we could go a whole week without kidnapping anyone. What? Sorry, different team. I think you'll find it would have been better to simply kill me. I agree. It's a little more complicated than that. I've been, I've been searching for this. Thank you, Rory. Who oh, is it? You have yours. This belonged to Miranda. As I was saying, we can't just kill her. It's a little more complicated than that. She knows who we are. She knew who I am. I know who all of you are. Is that so? It's a pleasure to meet you, Garib. I see Savage has been rather chatty with his lieutenants. If you think I'm merely Savage's soldier, you're more idiotic than he claimed. Who are you? I'm not his lieutenant. 
I'm his daughter. Shayton Savage has a daughter? We need to figure out what we're going to do with our new guest. She's seen the ship. And us. If she runs back to Savage, we're giving him a huge advantage. So we make the wee bitch our advantage? We keep sending him fingers until he puts his head on a chopping block. Fuck. That's dark. You've been at war way too long, Leo. Why the feck are you crying? She knows the details of Savage's defences. Yes, well, how exactly are we going to get that out of her? I'm on it. Hello, Kara. Can I call you Kara? Listen, here's the deal. You have information. I want it. The question is, how am I going to get it? I'm the daughter of Shaitan Savage, the immortal ruler of the world. Do you think he hasn't prepared me for this? Do you think I already haven't been taught to endure the most extreme suffering? You know, your father sounds just like mine. I can never really say, I love you. Except with his fists. Our fathers are nothing alike, Mr. Shepard. Fourteen years ago, the world was ruled by a madman, Per Degerton. He released the Armageddon virus in order to conquer the globe. It tore through the world like a fire. Millions died, including my mother. There were riots, wars, hell on earth. No one dared to stand up to Degerton except for my father. He may not be a kind man, but he is the only one capable of putting this world back together. So you can torture me if you like. My suffering's a small price to pay. Or you can fuck off. Who said anything about being tortured? I want you to find my daughter and then burn all these rebels to the ground! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Captain, I think we're about to be fucked. What? Ugh. Ah, my head. Bloody hell. Is everyone alright? What the bloody hell was that? That was savage. Can't want his daughter back. Your AI is really pot-mouthed. Oh, there's a time and a place. This team is so shit compared to the last one. Oh, and another missile is about to be launched. What do we do? That kicked our ass? It's you. You flew a feckin' missile at us! I will only give you one hour. Give me my daughter! I don't think so, buddy. We'll see. I was wrong about your father. He's a gem. He's just doing what he must to save his daughter. Whatever you say. Now, where was I? Ha, huh, right. Convincing you to help us. What a charming euphemism for interrogation. I know what you're thinking. My dad may not be perfect, but deep down, he's not a bad guy. What are you doing? Showing you that when it comes to crap fathers, there is no deep down. After you. These are the ones we could save. The rest are ash. Much like Delta Camp. You don't know my father at all. If you think his daughter could be so easily manipulated. Just trying to show you the truth. Truth is, my father was trying to save me. From what? Untrained civilians with barely any weapons? Your father launched a missile to level a bunch of tents. The people in that camp were rebels. Dangerous radicals. Oh, please. I mean, aren't those the radicals right there? They're nobodies. Everyday folk. Hoping to survive a father's reign of terror. Look, it took me a long time to figure it out. 
The Milo Man was a fucking monster. I'm hoping he's smarter than I am. That you can see this. Finally, something we agree on. Oh, by the way, Protegaton didn't release that virus. It was your father. What makes you think I'd believe you? Because seeing is believing. Thursday. Play the clip. Kosnia. November 3rd, 2147. This isn't true. You're a liar. Correct. But not about this. And you know it deep down. How are repairs coming? Are they coming? Not in 30 minutes, no. We brought all those extra people on board as well, and all we've brought them is an extra moment to let them live in fear. I guess the question is now, what do we do with these minutes? The ship is crippled. Everyone aboard is as dead as my family. I know you think the universe wants them dead, but I don't believe in fate. I believe in choices. And we can choose to fight back. Gemini and I found a way to kill them too. It's a lot of work, but we'll get there. My new bestie will get us in. We teleported right here. He's helping us fight the missiles. Now, you may not believe in fate, Ryan, but I certainly do. And perhaps it was fate that compelled me to bring you seven together. What? Alex chose our team. I didn't know what would happen, but even missing a member, you're still managing. <sighs> this is weird. I've seen men of steel die and dark knights fall, but even then I accomplish my mission no matter what. So let's get to work. Oh, Kara. I've been so worried. How did you... I'm your daughter. Did you really think some rebel could hold me captive? Rebel? These are the time travels I warned you of. Where's your watch? I must have lost it in my escape. As a person who taught you in the art of deceit, you can't fool me, Kara. Like you fooled me? You told me my mother died from the Armageddon virus. But you were the one that released it. Tell me it isn't true. I might even pretend to believe you. Let me go. Call them! No need to trouble yourself, Miss Savage. Ah, oh, I admire your command of irony, Garib. Using my own child against me? Shame on you. They've shown me what you've done. Do not speak as if you know anything about ruining a people. Do you really want to align your fate with these pretenders? They're nothing but grains of sand in the desert of time. You are a monster. <laughs> oh, this is all... Ah! Right. Get him to the brig. Bobby, take Kara to Sylvester. He'll need her help. Thank you, Captain Lance, for showing me the truth. Don't thank me. Thank Mr. Shepard. Well, you seem happy for a man behind bars. Why shouldn't I be happy? Seems as if you have once again failed to kill me. Momentary setback, I assure you. You can't keep me here forever. We'll see about that. What now? What now? I think it's time to... go back to Earth-52 and collect Myra and Jenny. And then we'll see. <laughs>